you're going to want to do is you want to turn on your controller. You're going to want to plug in your batteries. And you want to take your USB COM5 cable. I wrote up on mine just to make it easier to plug it in. And you're going to plug it in right here. Alright, now that you plug it in and everything's on, when you power up, once you plug it into your computer and you power up the ESC, the ESC will not arm because you're able to tune on it now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, shows the module and the device active. So we're going to go to settings. So what we're going to show today is... minimal starting power so I've already got mine set up to where I've already got it dialed in if this number is too low you'll have cogging if this number is too high it'll hit very hard so mine is 3.0 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you if I put it down to a 2 I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna write the settings alright now once I wrote those settings we're going to come over here to the car. We're going to turn off the ESC. And we're going to unplug the tuning cable. We're going to put it aside. Now, I'm going to get the remote. And I'm going to turn the ESC back on so the car arms. So now what you're going to notice is when I give it a very little bit of gas, You see, so that's a very low starting power. That right there is cogging. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna go and plug back in. This is why I write up on this so that it's easier for me to plug it in because you're going to be doing a lot of plugging and unplugging. Still hooked up to the computer, still hooked up, so now I'm going to turn it back on and we can get back into the settings. Right there it armed because this dialog window is up, so you want to make sure you close that dialog window so it doesn't arm when you're plugged in and then turn the ESC back on. Cycle it. It'll arm unless you're hooked up to the computer. If you're hooked up to the computer, linking to the computer, then it will not arm because you're changing settings. So now we're going to go back into the parameters and we're going to go back down to the same thing we just changed, minimal starting power. So now what I'm going to show you is I showed you too low. So we're going to go about five, which I'm already knowing we're going to write the settings. I already know five is too much. So what we're going to do is after we wrote the settings, we're going to come back over here. I'm going to turn off the ESC. We're going to unplug the cable. Meanwhile, the car is powered up. I have a BEC, so the car is powered up all the time and the remote's powered up all the time while I'm doing this. So now when I turn it back on, it'll arm. So now you're going to notice that when I hit the throttle, it's going to have a violent start. You hear that violent clicking? That's because my start power is set up so high. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it back off. We're going to come back over here and we're going to plug our COM port back in. And we're going to make sure that we close out this error message here. Before we power it back up again or else it will arm. So now we're going to go back into the tuning settings. So now once we're back in the settings, I'm going to go to advanced again, all the parameters and go right back down to that max start power.
minimal starting power, which is P83, by the way. So I know my setting that works for me good is three. So I'm gonna write that setting. And I'm gonna come back over to the car. Power it down. You see the LEDs let you know it's powered up. I'm gonna power it down. I'm gonna unplug the cable again. And now I'm gonna power it up so it arms. So now you're gonna notice that this is a setting that my particular setup likes. This is trial and error, something that you'll have to figure out on your own. Now you notice that with my setting, I pretty much have no cog and it doesn't hit super hard. So that's a good balance of what I'm looking for. If you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more information. I'm going to try to get as much information on this ESC settings and data log as I can to help everybody out.